You've heard of the old saying, selling coals to Newcastle. Well, with that idea in mind, a group of dancers from Birmingham is going to Paris. Pourquoi, you may ask? <laughs> Sell them snails, teach them how to play bulls, perhaps? Not exactly, as Sarah Falklands will be finding out. Down at the Café Rouge in Birmingham's Brindley Place, there's something a little ooh-la-la -la on the menu. Can Can girls, only they're not French, they're homegrown and they're hopping across the channel to give the French a run for their money. We had this call from a company to go out and do a, a Moulin Rouge theme. We do many themes of course but this is really exciting. So whilst they're there they'll do th uh, Can 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 from Moulin Rouge and they'll do the traditional Can Can and a feather routine as well and everybody's so excited. It's all about having fun, smiling, enjoying yourself and making people look like it's easy where sometimes it is extremely hard but it's always to give the appearance that it's always easy. And how easy is it to get your leg up that high? Well, it's actually quite easy, really. I mean, but I have been trained since I was two years old, so I suppose it should be a lot harder for somebody else, but it's always good fun. By the 1950s, the can-can was an acceptable and much-loved form of entertainment. Only when it first came on the scene in Paris in the early 19th century, it caused a bit of a stir. In fact, respectable Parisians thought that it showed such a shocking lack of self-control, but it was downright immoral, and the can-can here was actually banned for some time. Originally, the can-can was a dance for men. For these two, though, it's definitely a case of no can-do. Their fortune being seen again today from Birmingham. Ouch. I'm having a bit of a flush. <laughs>